This video is brought to you by G Fuel. More on them after the reaction. What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We got ourselves a trailer for Alien Romulus. We're about to film Madam Web reaction, but we thought we should watch this trailer first before we gear up for that epic movie. Andrew, you excited for this? Game over, man. John, how you feeling, man? Are you a big Fetty Alvarez fan? As I mine? am. I'm looking forward to Fedalian. Oh, nicely done. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, leave a like on this video. Also, John, myself, Koi Jandro, and Michael Tester are going to be having a WonderCon panel Sunday, March 31st, 2 o'clock p.m. If you are going to WonderCon, please attend. It's going to be an exquisite time if you're on the fence. Oh, there's a link in the description box. Maybe you would maybe change your mind because we're going to have a really good time. Let's watch this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that uh, claustrophobic feel the first. Yeah, it's back to that dread. Looks like dead space. Come on, help me, please. No, 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 Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, damn. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! No! Oh! Sweet. Oh, so Ripley at this moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm sold. Let's go. Wow, that's like a perfect teaser trailer. Yeah. Yeah, for I don't need to see anything else. else. Invented perfect teaser trailer. <laughs> Big thanks to G Fuel for continuing this awesome partnership we got going on. I've joked about, well, a truth, actually. I've consistently taken less pay in order to get a bigger bulk order of G Fuel. Reason being, I actually sought this partnership out myself since I'd already been a longtime G Fuel user. And you may have already noticed, whether before or during filming, there's a good chance I or my co host are being energized by G Fuel. And as someone who's become especially passionate about mental and physical health, especially during our 10 to 12 hour workdays, this has been a lifesaver. It really does stand out for being healthier than other options. No sugar, no gluten, and more importantly, no crash, which helps keep me focused and energized. And there's a few of the hosts here who generally don't like energy drinks, but now every day they take from the stash. And I'm happy they like it, but I hate having less on my shelf. I gotta learn to say no. But lately, I've been more into the tubs than the cans. Weird sentence to say, but it's true because of the efficiency. Also, the variety for blending options. Because they have a wide range of flavors. Sometimes I use it for pre-workouts or blending into my shakes. Usually I can just take my time drinking it or down it really quick especially for that essential afternoon boost. And what's more, the one I've become especially reliant on lately are their hydration drinks. I use them about one to two times daily. They help replenish electrolytes, have no caffeine, but still help with that focus and energy. Honestly, these drinks have been a game changer in our lives. And sincerely, they've helped me reduce stress and boost overall well-being. Because here's the real deal. If you value your health and are looking for that consistent, clean energy to power you through the day, G Fuel really is the answer. All I can say is trust me, once you try G Fuel, you'll notice the difference in your energy level, focus, and just overall performance. Don't just take my word for it. Give it a shot and feel the change for yourself. So you can visit the link in the description box or the pinned comment, gfuel.com slash discount slash reject nation to get 20% off select tubs. Thank you again, Gfuel. It's been a great like year or so partnering up with you. Drinking you every day. It's a near perfect teaser. I mean, it's hearkening back specifically to the first and second Alien movie. Mm. Out of all the installments that we've had of the Alien franchise, <laughs> This one feels the most, uh, already from the 60 seconds, you're like, Fede Alvarez obviously knew which two were the best ones. <laughs> and, and decided we, to set this right between them. <laughs> yeah, we were going to emulate exactly <laughs> those two movies right there. Yeah. Now I'm more curious to see as we progress because uh, I think what we've wanted for this Alien franchise is for it to essentially return to form. Um, after it's had its like deviations with like the Prometheus franchise and whatever like three and four uh, ended up becoming, so I I want to see now next of course like what's gonna make this one the most unique because we know Fede Alvarez knows how to pack a punch. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm really excited for it though because I I trust him when it comes to this kind of material after Evil Dead and. Of course, Don't Breathe, which Andrew did do a reaction for with Roxas Try really here on the channel. It. Yeah, I think that might have been your first uh, Fetty Alvarez movie. I believe song. so, yeah. And so, Andrew, what did you think about the trailer, my friend? Uh, no, it was great. Uh, I think, like, just from the visuals, I was already, 
you know, brought back to the first one, just that, uh, that claustrophobic feel. And, uh, yeah, no. And I like too, like, you know, it's, it's getting you back in that nostalgia feel, but it's not relying. You can tell right away. It's not relying on nostalgism, but it's going to do its own thing. And, you know, this guy really like, he just knows how to build tension and just like hearing the dread in the background. Like, I'm so excited and uh, I love Don't Breathe so much. So like, you know, I'm really looking forward to this one. And um, yeah, no, this uh, this was a quite an I mean, this is the perfect definition of a teaser trailer. You know, it's not giving away too much, but just showing like, hey, I love and respect the first two films, but I'm still going to make this my own as well. Sure, sure. Wani. Yeah, uh, I'm very curious to see what this becomes, especially because like I was very much looking forward to the Neil Blomkamp Alien 5, and, and with everything uh, that's been retooled yeah. about the franchise and Ridley Scott wanting to continue his prequels and not being able to do that, you know, they said, Fetty Alvarez's pitch is really what got this whole thing in the position that it is now, and we're not even going to release it direct to streaming, we're going straight to the theaters. So all of that, you know, bodes pretty exciting to me. And if, you know, again, if it didn't become the Neil Blomkamp one, this is about the next best thing I could hope for. And this looks exactly like it would play to Fetty Alvarez's strengths while also giving him a new sandbox to apply them to because you have a mostly young cast. I believe this does take place between the first two movies. So, you know, it's going to be kind of its own thing, but I'm sure with plenty of potential to tie in if it wants to. I hope they resist that urge because I think the great thing about an alien movie is that all you need is a couple simple elements like this. And I mean, yeah, it's got the mood. It's got the iconography. I imagine the cast. I hope the cast will be, uh, you know, quite capable. I think everyone's like around the age of 20. <laughs> so, you know, it's going to be an interesting uh, version of this to see something that's not just about like some, you know, military slash freight unit or something, but more like a gang of orphans or whatever they are. Well, yeah, I mean, if especially with hearkening back to the first movie of, you know, you're stranded out in space and you have to survive, which I know like Alien 3 did that as well. You know, aliens is on well, a, on a, a planet. prison planet, right? Was the third one? Right? Yeah, I believe so. Um, and uh, and I, mean, I think Resurrection. I think they all. That's kind of like the basic premise of Alien. <laughs> yeah. It's either you're on a planet, it's <laughs> a foreign planet, or you're you're in space, right? But I think the location here uh, has that iconography more yes. so. And with it being Fetty Alvarez, you know that I think what this will deliver more on than those first two Alien movies is there's going to be a, a, a really strong body count because it looked like facehugger galore uh, <laughs> yeah. over there. You, sometimes it's like just one. And that's why I was saying more of Aliens, not just because of that last shot, uh, but also because of, I imagine, the quantity hmm. of xenomorphs that might appear here. Yeah. And if it is taking place between Alien 1 and 2, I am curious to see if it would also tie into Prometheus in some way. Betty Alvarez strikes me as the kind of uh, filmmaker who would want to uh, honor that, especially since this did originate from the mind yeah. of Ridley Scott, that maybe it'll tie into the, the, the black goo. Yeah. You know? And I, I, I forgot, the engineer. And yeah. I forgot the name of the video game. You guys let me know in the comments. I, I did buy it a long time oh, ago. Yeah. It was... Uh, it took place in between two. The first and second film uh, was uh, Ripley's daughter. Um, no but idea. yeah, again, but uh, that was a fascinating storyline. So uh, maybe something like that will come uh, here to play. But uh, that yeah, and, no. and there's also speculation that maybe these are like the kids from there's a ship that's like LV426 or something in part two that's like lost. And maybe they're those kids or something like yeah. that from that ship. But again, I am liking the elements too of like, you had that slow burn of the first film and then like the action uh, play of the, uh, the, you know, the action adventure of the second. And then you're like bringing the balance of the two into this while, you know, the director's doing his own thing. So I think like the mix match between all three things, all the elements coming together, I think we've got something really exciting brewing here. I'm curious if that opening shot, it was shot just for this trailer too. <laughs> because I'm yeah. uh, wondering if, if, like, that could very well be like a, a beginning shot teasing what's to come, like how we did with Don't Breathe. Or yeah. it could be the an ending shot too. You know? Yeah, how did uh, we get here? Yeah, almost okay. reminded. Yeah, I was just gonna say it almost was like a small scale reminder of the Sulaco from the second film. Sure, but, yeah. sure. But I love the ickiness of the Xenomorph man. Yeah. Uh, all oh, yeah. wet and drippy like me when I wake up in the morning because I I have sleep apnea problems. <laughs> anyway, guys. <laughs> Uh, do you have sleep apnea? Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, what did you think about this teaser trailer? Are you excited? Do you think this will revitalize the Alien franchise? 
Leave your thoughts down below. We got to watch Madam Web now. Yay. Uh, subscribe. Click that bell. Leave a like. We'll catch you all soon, Reject Nation. Pandemic, Pandemic Jones. Jones. With it being the summer of spring break. <laughs> <laughs> With it being uh, almost one full season away from summer. <laughs> I can only imagine what you are doing this spring break. I can't. Making chili dogs oh. for the homeless. Yeah. We need that, man. We need that. Every day on the streets, the homeless population out here is rising like crazy. And we need a chili dog eating company. People are constant. Every homeless guy, I'm offering him money, and he's going, "Do you have a chili dog? <laughs> Can I get They're some all sweet, begging sweet. for chili dogs for me? <laughs> Can I get that brown gold? I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't have chili dog. I'm like, I got a hundred dollar bill, and I'm <laughs> like, is it a hundred chili dogs? And I'm like, <laughs> is no. it a Wiener Schnitzel it's, gift card? I'm sorry, it's not. It's just a hundred dollar bill, and you could buy a hundred hot dogs with it. Literally no. tore it up in front of me, spat in my face. So, <sighs> pandemic Jones. As you were going about L.A. helping to nourish the homeless population, fill their bellies up. I know what sinister plan you really have in mind. We think he's here clearing up these streets by giving the homeless food. But he's poisoning the chili dogs. Oh. He yeah, leak. seeks to eradicate the homeless by eradicating. The homeless. Oh. Now, one might go, wow, that is misleading. <laughs> but I'll tell you this much. <laughs> is it really? His name is Pandemic Jones. You should have known this was coming. The only way Pandemic Jones knows how to solve things is he always has one question on his mind. What's the pandemic? Can I go viral? Can I go pandemic on their asses yes. is what he seeks to do. So, Pandemic Jones, we might not agree with your methodology, but at least someone in this city is willing to clean up these streets. So, like I always say, got to respect the game here, man. He does say that. So, while I don't like being accomplice to murder, I also... I'm tired of carrying around a bunch of chili dogs in my car with me. <sighs> now I can get a nice smelling car and not, talk to. not have to worry about walking into 7-Eleven anymore. Also true. Without someone bothering me. It's all for you, Pandemic. So thank you, Pandemic Jones, for coming up with this master plan. Respect the game.